Hey everyone, Dark Wolf here. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and stopping by. I'd like to personally thank everyone for the incredible growth that we've had on this channel. It has been absolutely amazing. You guys are wonderful. You guys have been sharing my work. You've been checking it out. I really appreciate it. There's been lots and lots of comments. I've been trying to get back to everybody that leaves comments. If I don't get back to you, please don't take it personally. Um, every now and then I have to go, go back and review the spam folders and things get misplaced here and there. Anyway, I'd like to welcome everybody to this very special episode of Dark Wolf's Den. We're going to have some fun tonight, guys. We're going to mix it up, do something a little different. It's going to have the Mandela Effect theme. But we're going to have some Mandela Effect fun tonight. So, uh, first off, everybody remember David Letterman? I used to love watching David Letterman's late night show. And one thing he used to do was a top ten list. Every night he had a different top ten list. So, in the honor of that... I uh, I like to present first uh, a top ten list in David Letterman style. Here we go. All right, the top ten signs you may be Mandela affected. You ready, guys? Here we go. Number ten, you feel like products on store shelves are taunting you. Number nine, you notice the name on your birth certificate has changed. Number eight, you find that you suddenly have tinnitus. Number seven, your King James Bible now reads more like a damn brown novel. That might be a problem. Number six, you can no longer correctly recite movie lines that you once knew by heart. No, Luke, I am your not father. Number five, all of your friends and family seem to have suddenly played musical personalities. Number four, every day your car is a different color. Number three, the world map looks different to you every week. Number two, you still think that the sun is yellow. And the number one sign that you may be Mandela affected, if you think that the Baron Stain Bears is the punchline to a bad joke. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the top 10 signs you may be Mandela affected. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, next up, guys, we have Dark Wolf's Avatar reading some poetry that was submitted to us on the channel by UFO Guy Spaceman. So the next two poems will be set to... Uh, some smooth jazz music. So I hope you guys enjoy Poetry Night in the Den. Take it away, Dark Wolf. The Mandela Effect Quandary There is a phenomenon taking place around the world. Some people see what others don't, and secrets are unfurled. Others say that can't be so, and go on about their lives. The truth is so elusive, some believe it is disguised. Reasons have been given for this extraordinary change. Theories come and go, although they are quite strange. Some claim memories are frail, and cannot be relied upon. So evidence is gathered, and displayed for everyone. My past is now no longer what I thought it once to be. So I begin to wonder, where is my lost reality? Sleepless nights I have been anxious, trying to discern how conflicting memories are not what I have learned. Friends and family defend their lack of interest because they think they know what's really best. As I look around me and gaze upon this place, I have to come to grips and put a smile upon my face. Knowing as I do, my memories are true. I must find others who see things as I do. I implore all who recognize this world is not the same to join me in my quest to find an ending to this game. Thank you, Wolfie. Great job. 
Good reading. And that jazz, that is so smooth. I love it. All right, guys, that selection was from someone named UFO Guy Spaceman. Uh, he left that in the comments section on one of my videos and asked permission of him to use it. He gladly granted us permission. And then there was another one added by, I guess, a fan of his. Uh, this is also his work. So without further ado, I'm going to shoot it back over to Wolfie and let him read the second selection. I hope you guys enjoy. We'll be right back. The Mandela Effect made E.T. home phone and turned my life into the twilight zone. Now I'm driving a Ford with the curly Q. It's been here a long time. Can that be true? That pigtail makes no sense to me. But they say it's recorded in history. Berenstein had some funny bears. When the stain appeared, that drew some stares. Ellis Island had a statue called Liberty, but she moved to a new locality. This new earth is a mystery. Time to learn new history. Did Forrest say is or did he say was? The internet is all a buzz. Chartreuse was red as I recall, but now it's green and that ain't all. The stoplight had green on top before. Now I see red there and so much more. JC Penny has an extra E. Came from Febreze, I do believe. The map of the world is not the same. Svalbard to me is a brand new name. New Zealand moves south. That's so lame. The North Pole is gone. Now that's a shame. The Mandela Effect is messing with me. Captain Kirk did say, Beam me up, Scotty. The Wizard of Oz was so much fun. Before the Scarecrow got his gun. People say I'm obsessed. And that might be true. Though I can't believe Hitler's eyes turned blue. The sun is white and very bright. I wonder where the moon will be tonight. The lion stopped lying with the lamb. The big bad wolf put us in a jam. Celebrities die and live again. I just can't see how that's happening. South America shifted to the east, they say. Now the Panama Canal goes a different way. Australia moved north. What a blunder. Ain't no way that's the land down under. Cuba is bigger than it was before. And the Arctic ice cap is no more. Sally Fields used to be a flying nun. Now her S is gone like my yellow sun. Tom Cruise lost his shades and that ain't right. I know his shirt used to be white. Fruit Loops went away one day. Now Cap'n Crunch is here to stay. Darth said no, but that can't be. Luke is what I heard in that movie. The Monopoly Man lost his monocle, so I have to wonder, where did it go? Mona Lisa got a name and a smile. The thinker moved his hand for a while. Dolly had braces, that's a fact. Maybe a flip-flop will bring them back. The Wicked Witch says, fly, 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 when her scary monkeys fill the sky. If your memories don't match what you see, you're in the outer limits, stuck here with me. The Mandela Effect took a hold of me altered some things in my reality. Land masses out of place, here and there. People once deceased, now alive, I swear. Movies I saw many times before had altered and shocked me to the core. 
songs I listened to in my youth were not the same. That is the truth. What is this place? What put me here? I must be strong, not give in to fear. All right, thank you, Wolfie. And thank you, everybody, who have, have joined us so far. I'd like to extend a very, very special thank you once again to everyone who's newly subscribed to this channel, uh, as well as the ones that have been subscribed from day one. Every last one of you is appreciated. We've had some exponential growth lately, and I absolutely love it, guys. It is really appreciated. Before we go, I'd like to do one more thing. Uh... Every now and then, it's been requested that we add in a gratuitous explosion. So, without any further ado, here is a heavy rocket, a V9, I think it's called Heavy Rocket on a Not So Good Day. Check it out, we'll be right back. Alright guys, and there we have it. I would like to extend a special thank you to Tesla Rockets for blowing stuff up and making it really, really cool for me to in, uh, include in the video. Next off, I'd like to thank Michael Musco for our intro and outro music. Uh, his work is, is appreciated. It is in the description box below. So definitely go check his uh, YouTube channel out, guys. Check his SoundCloud out. An amazing artist. Plus, he does some pretty good uh, uh, vlogs and, and whatnot. So definitely check him out, guys. Um, special thank you also. A definite special thank you to UFO Guy Spaceman. Thank you so much for allowing us use of your work in our video tonight, guys. He's the one that wrote both of those poems, and he graciously not only shared them with us in the comments, but gave me permission to use them in this video. So thank you so very much, UFO Guy Spaceman. It is so very appreciated. If you want your content portrayed by us here in the den, we can gladly do that. We would be more than happy to do that. You can either drop us a comment below, down the bottom of this video right here, guys, or you can email me. My email is in the About section of the channel. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Mandela affected and unaffected everywhere. If you're watching this, thank you so very much. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel already. Ring that bell for notifications. And most importantly with this video especially, share it. Share it on all the social media. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with your pets. Share it with your dog. Dogs love us. Guys, share this around. Let's see if we can get some vibrations up, get some laughs going, get some smiles on some people's faces. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am Dark Wolf, and thank you for joining us for this special edition of the Dark Wolf's Den Variety Show. And remember always, stay awake, but dare to dream. Bye, everybody.